Hello everyone! In this video, I will show you how to quickly design a concrete pipe using the pre-designed software called Python. So the best way to show you how the software works is with an example. So the example that I have right here is for a cold pipe. So I want to know what class of pipe do I need if I have a 900 millimeter reinforced concrete pipe cold pipe. And of course, when I'm talking about classes, I'm referring to the pipe strength classification as per ASTM or CSA standard. So the pipe will be covered with three meters of 2100 kilograms by cubic meter sand and gravel overflow. So the way to access the software is just go to your browser and type pipehack.com, and that's it. I think this is the best thing about pipehack, and is you are not going to be required to install anything on your computer. And also, this is a free web-based software, and it's free thank you to all the associations that you see here on the screen. So if you're curious about the association or you want to have more technical information, there is a direct link right at the bottom of the main page of the software. So if you want to know anything about the association or if you need any design manuals or installation handbooks, technical articles, videos, technical resources, everything you have a direct link right there. So let's go ahead and see how the software works. So I have a link right here on my presentation that it will open my browser, but just, you just go to your browser and you type pipehack.com and you are inside. So this is my main window. So the first thing that you're going to do is just click right here to proceed to pipehack application. And here we have two options. We can create a project or we can load an existing project if you have worked with Pipac before, but we haven't. So I'm going to create a project. So all this information that you're gonna put right here is for your reference to identify your project. So I'm just going to say as it's going to be my culvert and my project location is going to be Alberta and you have your contract number, your consultant, your contractors, anything you want to put in here to identify your project, and of course, whoever analyzes it, and you click continue. So there are three parts on the software, and the one that does the design is the pH bearing analysis. So you're just going to click right here, and this little window will appear. So the software is going to ask you to name an alternative, and that is because for each project uh, title, you can have different alternatives. So this one is just going to be uh, option one, so I could have option two, option three, option four in the same project. Uh, you select your units, uh, so you're going to choose metric, but you can also choose imperial and the standard you're going to follow, either CSR or ASTM, so I'm just going to choose ASTM and I click continue. So now we are in the main window of the software, so you have four different tabs where we're going to input information uh, about my culvert. So I know it's going to be a circular pipe with a 900 millimeter. So just click the little arrow and I go down to 900. I know we're going to have a reinforced concrete pipe and my wall thickness uh, here, we have different uh, standardized wall thickness. So I recommend you to contact your local pipe producer to know what wall thickness they use in their equipment forms. But for this example, I just wanna choose B. So we finish with the pipe information tab, we move to the load installation, and here is we're going to input all our loads and our installations uh, to the software. So we start with the dead load, so I know I have a sand and gravel, I click the little arrow right here and I go down and find my sand and gravel and click. And then I have my soil density. The software gives me the opportunity to change it. It is not the one I have on my project, but I know we have 2100, so I just quickly change it for what I need. We don't have any extra loads or surcharge loads. And my fluid load is going to be the weight of the fluid inside my pipe. So always click yes in this one. So for my live load, my culper, I'm going to choose the Canadian Highway Bridge Design Code. And we have this window that appears. Uh, we have different track loads for you here. So we have the CL625, which is in the Canadian Highway Bridge Design Code, or we have the CL625 Ontario, which is used in Ontario and BC, or CL800 for Alberta. So I'm just uh, going to choose uh, the CL800 because I'm based in Calgary, and this is what we use for designing in Alberta. So as you can see, when I choose the CL800, 
these uh, axle loadings get populated automatically, so you don't need to do anything here. Uh, we also have a light load distribution factors and the impact factors. These ones are default in the Canadian Habit Boost Design Code as well. But again, if you don't want to have all of these, you can always uh, change it. But I'm just going to leave it as it is, CL800, I'm just going to click load. So we finish with this column, we move to the next one. In the next one, we have our height of fill. So the height of fill is going to be measured between the final grade and the top of the pipe. So I know my pipe is going to be buried three meters, so I'm just going to select three meters. But I have the option to analyze the load in incremental fills or layers. So this is the minimum fill and the maximum fill. So the defaults are 30 centimeters and it go up to six meters, but my pipe is installed at three meters. So I don't really need the software to analyze it to six. So I just want to put four. And the incremental fills can be changed. In this case, the default is 30 centimeters. I'm going to leave it as it is. And the installation type, we have a culvert, so it's going to be in an embankment condition or positive projection. So I'm just going to click right here and this new window will appear. So here it's going to ask you all the positive projection uh, embankment parameters, but I'm not going to explain each and one of them. If you are curious about them, I recommend you to watch our PyPack version 4.1 video. Uh, which uh, explains all of these parameters or just become familiar with the user manual that you can download right here on the help tab at the top. So for my example here on the culber, I'm just going to change my soil type properties, which I know I have a sand and gravel for my backfill. So I'm just going to select that and I'm going to click close. So now we finish with the column in the middle. Now the last one is the bedding type. So I'm going to select the standard installations one to four. This is what we follow in Alberta. But you can also select uh, traditional beddings B and C. So it's always good to check your province installation requirements to know what type of bedding you need to choose in the software. So now we finish with the load installation tab. We can move to the factor of safety. So in my factor of safety, the default is AFPM C76, which is great. I don't need to change anything right here. So we're just going to leave that as it is, and we're going to click results. And in results, we just click analyze. So the software is going to give you results based on the type of installation that you choose. So for each installation, you will have a certain type strength requirement or a deload requirement. So for example, for a type two, I need a class to a strength classification of my pipe. So what you can do right here is just click preview analysis to check uh, what the software did. And this new window will appear. So we have our project description. So this is all the information that we put at the beginning to identify our software. You have our pipe data. We also have our installation conditions the additional loads or the live loads, and the factor of safety. And you also have these tables right here. So you're going to have one table for each type of installation that you chose. So I have one for each standard installation. So I have one for type one, type two, type three, and type four. And each of one of them is going to give you your pipe depth, so here you see my incremental fields of 30 centimeters, my arching factor, my dead load, my live load, any extra loads I added at the total, as well as the bedding factor and the required D load or strength classification that I need. So if I have a type one, for a three meter depth, I'm going to need a class one. And for a type two, for a three meter depth, I'm going to need a class two. So this is what I'm referring depending on each of type of installation, you will have a different strength classification. So if you want to save this on your project, you just right click and click print, and you just print a PDF uh, file of it, and that's all you need to do. You can close right here, and we also have a preview summary, which will have the, the same information at the top, but the table that it gives you is a comparison of each and one of the installation types you chose. So this is your opportunity to check, depending on your type of installation, what strength classification do you need. And again, you just go right click and print it and put it in your 
folder and that's it. So this finishes the example. You just finish doing your design. So as you can see, if you are familiar with the indirect design method and also know your way around the software, you can design a uh, pipe in less than five minutes. So I have some extra information on my presentation here. So I'm just gonna go back to it. And I just have something here to show you if you're not familiar with the ASTM standard. So I know I have a 900 millimeter folder and I'm going to install it on a type two. So Piper tells me I need a class two strength classification. So this is going to translate to some requirements as per ASTM. So if you check uh, ASTM C76, you basically just go to table number two and you basically find the pipe that the software gives you. So now we selected a B wall. So the concrete strength that I'm going to have is going to be minimum 27.6 MPA. So you just go down and find your diameter and that will give you the reinforcement requirements for your pipe. So something I always like to clarify is that this, the table is giving you an either inner and outer cage and also an elliptical reinforcement. But this elliptical reinforcement is a substitute for the two cages. So you either get an outer and an inner cage or you get an elliptical cage. So this is when you phone your manufacturer and you request a class two, this is basically what you will get on site. And that's it. If you like the video, please click like and don't forget to follow us on social media. You can follow us in LinkedIn on Canadian Concrete Pipe and Precast Association. On Facebook, you can like us with the same name. You can follow us in Twitter at CCPPA Concrete And also don't forget to subscribe to our channel in the YouTube. And that's it for this video. Thank you for watching.